say, um, eight or nine years ago, I first met Jason when I was serving on the planning commission. And I knew at that time that he was a very, very special individual. He was the type of person that could tell somebody, no, we can't do that. And then they would completely understand it and walk away satisfied with the answer that he gave them. Not because he just said no, but because he would go into debt, explain to them what this, why we could not do what they were asking for. So Jason is a people person. He always has been that way. He's been one heck of a Lowndes County employee that we're very, very much appreciative of. And the best thing is, is that I am honored to call him a friend. And I, I've always appreciated that relationship. Um, he's had a higher calling from a boss much bigger than any of us here. <laughs> and he has chosen to go into the ministry, and we are so very, very proud of him. Uh, he's made the right decision. Uh, it's going to be the Lord's gain and the county's loss. <laughs> but but we, have, we have some assurance that he will make himself available when, <laughs> when we do true. need the talents that Jason Davenport can bring to it. That's true. I also want to recognize his parents are here in the room with him. We have Colonel retired Mrs. Davenport back here in the back. Colonel retired Mr. Davenport here. And this day also has a special meaning for this family. Mr. Colonel's Davenport, both of them were at the Pentagon when the fourth airplane crashed into the Pentagon. Um, probably you could imagine the fear that you would have. Communications were shut down. They could not communicate with each other to know where the other was. And that airplane went into the general area where Colonel Mr. Davenport was located at. So not only Mr. Davenport worried and concerned about his wife, worried and concerned about their fellow um, military personnel that was wounded and dying in that tragedy, um, they were concerned about each other. But they went through that day for probably better than eight hours, not knowing where the other one was at, how safe they were. Um, or, you know, if they were still even with us. Um, worried about their fellow personnel, taking care of the wounded, taking care of, uh, of the dead as well. So a terrible, terrible day that we recognize now uh, on this day. But along with those lines, you can only imagine what the children felt as they were far away getting that news and knowing where mom and dad was at, but not knowing whether they were still with them or not. So, thank you, and thank you. No, thank you for wrapping your arms around our son. <laughs> <laughs> we have the photograph here, the historical courthouse that many of your fellow employees and friends have signed. Mm -hmm. We want to present that to you. Thank you, sir. This has some special meaning, I'm sure, as well. It does. So, again, many of your fellow employees and friends uh, have signed that as well. So. <laughs> yes, sir. And one more thing. Thank you. <laughs> and this. It has a special meaning, certainly, to you. My new personnel manual? Your new personnel <laughs> manual. <laughs> so, I wanted to present this Bible to you, uh, and there's a special message in there from a special person. Mm. And I'm sure you and you'll. Uh, well, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
very hard to follow those remarks, but I certainly speak to the commissioners and the staff, those that are in this picture and remain behind it. And I, I just say thank you. Um, certainly 12 years here has been an honor, um, and you certainly have helped me grow as a man and a Christian, a father and a husband, um, and you have consistently blessed us and our family. And I am very, very grateful and honored to have served you all on your shoulder best. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, we got uh, one other little presentation we need to 